they found gold in the river. Can me lose your feet? Qu'est-ce que c'est là? Come on, girl. Hey friend, come here a minute, trust me, you wanna hear this. Hey, you interested in some quick money? I am talking real quick. Yeah, now, it's too open here, but, um, follow me and we'll chat. So here's what I have in mind. <laughs> How do you find these damn idiots? You can just tell with some folk. Come on, let's see what he has and do. I miss my old horse.
Give me a minute, please. Clear this ride up for you. Thanks for your assistance. Cuidado. Quality hide makes the hardiest clothes around. Don't doubt it. Hello, mister. Neoma. Show enough. Lo sabe todo el pueblo. Yes, slow. Sute, lay hop. You seem the ambitious type. If you want a unique garment, you need to bring me a unique pelt. It would be worth it. Every one of my garments is a little different, because every pelt is a little different. You'll find them nowhere else. There you go. for your help. Move yourself.
What? <laughs> Listen, bit of a weird question, but do you know where I might find some moonshine? What? Moonshine. You no, know, strong liquor. Over strong. Why, you want to get over drunk? <laughs> no, no, it's not for drinking. <laughs> what is it for? Oh, I just need some. Well, as luck would have it, you are in the legal hooch capital of America. Yeah. There's plenty of real booze here. Yeah. But for shine, well, I'm guessing you'd need to go out into the woods. Mm -hmm. I mean, I know you'd have to go out into the woods. Now listen, I don't need that much. How much? About a hundred gallons. Of to shine? Yes, thereabouts. Why? Oh, all right, I'm trying. I'm building a machine. A machine of love. <laughs> hundred gallons of hooch and love's gonna come pretty cheap. Please, friend. I'll pay. Just, just, just bring it here. Support the cause. Well, if anyone knows who's moving that kind of shine, it'll be that stagecoach guy in Rhodes. Come on, girl. Good day. Need a doctor. You gotta. You gotta. All right, friend. All right. You're gonna be okay. You're gonna help me? Um. Um. Please. Please. I'll give you something. help. Stay alive. Uh, okay. Okay.
Position for you. Here it is. Fork over what you got. Yeah. 
There we go. Yeah, there's a girl. Yeah. Uh, you, mister, excuse me. Well, howdy now. So, you heard anything about... Thanks. I'm sure I've no idea. Thanks for nothing, idiot. Yeah, well, sticks and stones. Fine. I've about had Some it. Some sense around here. You have a problem? Thank you. You'll have more luck trying that on kids. So I'd advise you to walk away. Hey, folks. Y'all doing all right? All the best now. Hello, gentlemen. Hello? Hi. Glad you dropped in. I've got that, uh, information you asked for. Um, I need something more specific this time. A wagon full of moonshine. Well, you might just be in luck. How do you do, sir? I knew I picked the right fetter to speak to. Seems there's a small delay on the next train. Thank you. 
You're leaving me, huh? So. Yeah, we'll leave this then! It's Mr. Black's fault! His fault to Darky White! Well, I don't know why they call him that. Look at him! Don't you start now. I'll knock the color clean off you! Come right. on! All and right. I'll tall you, on. you lily livid. Enough! Huh. You two fools look like you've just run off a chain gang. Yeah, what of it? What are you doing? Starving. They got bounty posters for us all over town. And we can't go into town to get supplies. Say, mister, maybe you can do us fools a favor. We ain't bad guys at all. He's okay, even for a darkie. Shut it, you pasty-faced streak of piss! Yeah, I had it up to here with you. Enough! Do your goddamn favor what you want. Maybe you can go into town and take down them wanted posters of us. <sighs> okay. Maybe meet us back at the campfire in the woods and tell us how you did. Uh, maybe bring us a little bite to eat? Don't push your luck. Nice fella. Yeah, you love nice fellas. Don't you start up again. Just shut up. You shut up! Okay, then, girl. Hello. Yeah. Hey, out of the way. I'm on a tight schedule. Hey, fellas. Hello, mister. Hey there, fella. I, I am in a good mood for some reason. That's nice. Well, I'll leave you to it. Stay safe. Mister? Mister? If you can't treat people with respect, what's the point, I say? Hey, wake up. Shut your mouth. You know, Tina's sister, Jane, she spit at a John and he choked her to death right there. Sweet bitch, too dumb for her own good. No. Really? Hey, I need to get to that poster behind you. Would you move a little? <laughs> I will not. 
Deputy put up plenty. Go get one of those. Hey, move. I need that poster. Oh, I'll move, all right. How's this for moving? <coughs> this is what... Holy shit! <coughs> I'll clean... This is what you wanted? Uh. <coughs> no damn manner. <coughs> Next time... Run away. Think nothing. Hey, Mister. Hello. You look hungry. I don't think you got any idea about the land you walking, do you? What us raiders gave for it. I seen folk like you before. Always the first to run screaming. Oh, d don't mind me. Round here's a dozen towns folk offer to bury you just to keep my hands clean. Make yourself scarce. I'm getting the long ball. I swear you Can all. Can I take you somewhere, dumb. Mister? squared away. What's this place coming to? Hi, mister. Hey there. Interesting. Mm. 
Hello. Mister, I need that poster. There's been a recall. I weren't born yesterday. This one's mine, so you can go and get your own. Is a fine gun if you don't show it at all. Oh, That's it. Where's the damn ball at? Oh, my God. I hear you. Consider it dealt with. Hey, back. Hey, back. Easy, whoa.
your problem. I can't trust you if I can't see your face. Why are you hiding your face? Whoever you are, both don't want any trouble.
Hello again. Well, quite the price tag on little old you. Thanks, partner. Ain't been too many Federals coming through. Might have got some horse in. Stop right where you are. Hey, don't I know you from somewhere? Why, if it ain't one of them pricks who made Shady Bell his own. I'm remembering. <laughs> Ain't very tough.
There we go. Easy there, girl. Idiot. Howdy, Sheriff. Mister? I imagine you got your work cut out for you around here. Okay there? Hey there. You know, all said and done, life's oh, about the simple please, things. Please, don't let me keep like you. Like justice, friend. Why don't you head out of here now? Law is only a problem if you don't follow it. Be on your way. Girl. Show up.
Thank <laughs> you. 
Out here.
man wonderful <laughs> you got my money huh, it's it's for a very good cause uh, my name is professor andrew bell the third perhaps you've heard of me <laughs> can't say that i have oh i'm an inventor uh, maybe you've read about me <laughs> uh i don't read much oh oh well that's too bad oh yes <laughs> you got my money <clears throat> oh, well, it is the most wonderful invention, friend. Oh, you, sir, have done a great All deed. All I've done is get some creep a lot of drink. <laughs> creep is excellent. No nonsense. Now, you've helped me develop the most humane machine imaginable, a way to induce calmness to our most troubled souls, a way to end the barbarity of a public hanging. Oh, so, so humane. What are you talking about? The electric chair. Well, what? See, it's a chair full of electricity. It's quite fascinating. It calmly and peacefully dispatches the sinners uh, to face judgment. Yes, judgment. Yeah. Where is it? Well, uh, it's in my laboratory. The next thing I need is a, a demonstration, a public one. Huh. Uh, do you know the police chief? Hmm? As well as anyone. Oh, wonderful. Perhaps you can encourage him to let me demonstrate the chair. It will help bring this town into the next century. Yes, could you do that? I can't believe this is really happening. Let me go. You got a problem with me? your problem. As you're concerned, I am the devil. Now get out of here. This can! I said get out of here! Yeah. Damn French. I don't quite know why I did that. Because barbarity is boring, no? It kept me amused some years. You must go, my friend, before the gendarmerie arrive. Hey, you gonna do right by this fella's wife? You have done right by her. The little bird is free. Hmm. I am an artist, cowboy. I must do what I feel. Look, I have an exhibit at the gallery. You come, see what I mean.
this place, yeah. Mr. Truly, you're a saint. <laughs> yes, sir. There should be more people in the world like you. God bless. Pleasure to see you again, sir. Now, let me see. That is a local favorite. Now that will bring your outfit together. I have plenty more great items.
I only stock the best in my shop. Buy from me. Goodbye. I'm told the savages are giving businesses a terrible time. Monsieur? <clears throat> Hello, ma'am. How do you do? May I say you're looking lovely today? Thank you. Monsieur. Okay, girl. Well, don't you look lovely? So how is everything? It's been a trying few days. How do you do? Hello, mister. Hello. So, welcome to our humble police house. Wish they gave us a pour of whiskey, at least. What can I do for you? <clears throat> Chief, I'm representing the inventor of a humane execution machine, an electric chair. And he, uh, he wants to demonstrate his invention here. Ah, I'm familiar with the man and his work. Tell you what, I'll give you a permit. But it's gonna cost you a hundred dollars in fees. Hey, look, this will save you money in the long run. And, uh, it'll save the condemned a whole lot of pain. That remains to be seen. But... I'll give you a permit for 50. Okay. Well, the price is fair. Here you go. And here, sir, is your permit. Appending the usual formalities, of course, such as uh, finding a suitable candidate for humane dispatchment. I'll tell that to the professor. Good luck. Hey. Don't go that bum at the whoever's got a seat. Bonjour, monsieur. Oh, Mister? Is there food, Southern? That's why I'm thinking about it. Hello.
friend. Hello, Professor... Professor... Andrew Bell the Third. That's it. So, the Chief says you can test out your machine, oh. pending the usual formalities. And what are they? Uh, finding a suitable, uh, subject. Ah, funny you should mention. This fellow here, he seems sturdy enough, and he's guilty as sin. Wilson J. McDaniels. Wanted for murder, bigamy, and immoral animal husbandry. What's that? The mind shudders. Here, find him for me and help me put him out of his misery. together wonderfully. The final piece of the puzzle. Okay then, girl. Want something with me, do you? Oh, por favor, necesito ayuda. Help! Voy a matar a ustedes dos. Hey, Kyle, take it. I know it's managed too. You're making a big mistake. Dump that mouth up, or I'll do it for you. Okay, then.
Yep. Let's go, bro. Easy now. Easy.
bad day for you, mister. Come on. I got a special treat for you. Goddamn government cat's paw. You're coming with me. Take me to damn court, then! This ain't America! We ain't free no more! Can't raise no animals. <clears throat> Sounds like sour grapes. You know, you ain't going to court. You ain't going to jail, either. I'm taking you to a professor I know. What in hell are you talking about? You're a lucky man, mister. You get to be part of a great experiment. Shut up! Huh? You ain't gonna die needlessly is what I mean. Nope. Your death's gonna be an uh, important step in the advancement of human knowledge. What in hell are you saying, mister? This professor, Andrew Bell III, I believe he said. He's a little odd. Maybe harebrained, but I got no reason to doubt the quality of his work. What's this damn professor got to do with anything? Well, he wants to try this new electricity chair on you. To kill you. Humane. No! Yeah. Well, he's gonna strap you into this contraption and run a large electric current through your system. Got something to do with moonshine. I don't quite know what. I guess that's why he's a professor and I'm the bounty catcher. Well, as I said, I can pass on his assurances that this is a most humane way to go. It'll be just like, well, like switching off a light. <sighs> they wouldn't let you do this to me. They wouldn't. Oh, they would. And we got a permit and everything. You was in animal husbandry, am I right? Well, you ever seen lightning strike livestock, Mr. McDaniels? I ain't ever seen the actual impact, but I came across the pasture sometime after. The storm had just cleared, and there was smoke in the air, the smell of burning hair. You know, there must have been a dozen head of cattle lying there, piled up, mangled. Strange scars across their backs, legs, and necks. It's half like they was burned, and half like the skin was ripped off. No! Eyes bleeding. Some of them popped out. No! If I hadn't seen the storm, <laughs> I would have thought some devil caused that mischief. But, no, sir. It was lightning. The electricity does something, all right. I seen trees explode in front of me. I seen desert sand baked into glass. That's what I seen lightning do. But, oh, hey. This electricity professor's got a plan for you? Ah, that must be of an entirely different kind.
I'm sorry about that, McDaniels. You all right? <laughs> uh-huh. Yeah, me too. Well, you'll be happy to know we ain't got far to go. Hold on tight now. <laughs> <laughs> well, here we are. The professor will be real pleased to meet you. <gasps> no! Here, I got him. Bring him to me. Wonderful. Just, just wonderful. Come on. Don't be shy now. Let's go. by my humane electric ending facilitator. There will be money enough for you, sir. Well, let's hope. All right, let's get our, our, um, our poor unfortunate ready for the demonstration. Oh, do come and watch. It'll be amazing. Come along.
There you are. You boys ready? Of course. What else do you know about this guy? Not much. Just he's some slick little greasy-haired European clearly got power and money. Now, listen. If we go in there and start shooting up the place, the boy's gonna get shot, that I guarantee. Better like this, we're gonna have a lot of protection. Ain't no one gonna get shot, Arthur, so everyone just relax. We'll charm them. Trust me. This place? <coughs> My 
Must be. You okay, John? I guess. Excuse me, sir. We have an appointment to see Mr. Bronte. Who are you? You get your boss down here and now so we can talk about this like gentlemen. Run along now, boy. Was that the special Dutch charm I heard so much about? Relax. You looking for a problem? I got this. Don't worry, boys. We come in peace. We just need to straighten a couple of things out with your boss. Sono qui per picciotto. Coi soldi? Why do you take his son? Excuse me. I said, why did you take his son? We ain't got no problems with you, sir. Nor you with us. But if you want to start one, there's going to be a lot of folks dead in this room before it's done. So, you walk into my city, stinking of shit and looking like this, and you come into my house before you have a bath and you tell me how to act? You ask me to show compassion. Have I not shown you almost infinite compassion already by simply allowing you to breathe in my presence? Indeed you have. Now, we are simple country folk. All we have is each other. And you have gone and you have took his son over some dispute with some inbred ex-slavers. It ain't got nothing to do with any one of us. You had nothing to do with destroying the liquor business. We was innocent bystanders. And that which we weren't innocent of, well, we, we most surely were ignorant of. You twist words, you lie shamelessly. You think you are better than everyone else. Diodoro. <laughs> Not the barest woman. <laughs> Angelo Bronte. <laughs> Dutch Vanderlyn. Uh, Arthur Morgan. Arthur, uh, the pleasure is mine. John Marston. <laughs> All mine, please. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 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 uh. So, uh... Can my friend have his son? Of course, of course. <laughs> but uh, should I be out of pocket over a misunderstanding? Uh, of course I know you would not want that, huh? Uh, no. No, no, no. So how about this? You perform a simple job for me, and you get your son back. What is it? A couple of people have taken to grave robbing in this cemetery. Well, that is a fine place for it, the best. <laughs> I love this guy. I love you. <laughs> See, they've taken not only to desecrating the dead, but they've done so without paying a tribute to the living. Thing is, they see my men, of course, they run a mile. So maybe you two head off, huh? And you, Mr. Van der Lind, why you tell me more about my manners? <laughs> Salute. Salute. Okay, my girl. Grave robbers? You think he's taking us for a fool? No idea. What choice do we have? None, I guess. This is idiotic. You know where the cemetery is? I think so. Pretty sure I rode by it earlier. It's real impressive. You know, you did good holding your tongue in there. 
You trust one word that comes out of that bastard's mouth? We don't even know where Jack is. Listen, we found Bronte. We got in there. Dutch is with him now. All things considered, it could have gone a lot worse. That poor kid. I ain't been a good father to him. I hope... He's okay. He'll be fine. I figure... The Braithwaite's were gonna hold Jack Ransom. For all the money we cost him. We must have sent him here so we couldn't get to him. But... Ronte knows by now there's no Braithwaite's left to pay him. Jack ain't much use to him anymore. Let's just get this done. Let Dutch handle the rest. I just hope you're right. Okay. I think this is it. Keep it down. Let's hitch your horses up ahead. This way. All right. Let's see what's going on in here. Hang on. There might be something. Stay quiet. We don't want to spook them. when they ain't even buried him in the ground. Is that what you want, Marston? Peace? One day. <laughs> I'm gonna push your head. You watch my back. <laughs> Can't believe we're doing this. I know, but we won't care once we get the boy back. <laughs> oh, I'm um, sorry. I'm sorry. I had a I had a bit to drink. Friend died. They can hear us, you know. You're still with us. You should get yourself home. Can't be far. Let's keep going. Looks like someone beat us to it here.
be around here someplace. Okay, but we'll need to be quick. We can't go back to Bronte empty-handed. Let's have a look where they first shot at us from. <sighs> Robbing grave robbers. We've hit the big time. We can't go back to Bronte with nothing to show for it, Arthur. I think there might be something in here. Got it. Good. Now let's get out of here. Shit, it's the law. Let's go. Maybe we can get out that gate. Locked. Let's just track back to where we came in. Damn it.
think we lost him. Come on, quick! Let's get back to Dutch. Well, it's lucky I ain't a religious man. Let's just get back there, collect our side of the deal. You all right? He best not be playing games with us. He almost certainly is. Let's what? just see. Keep your head. Act normal. How's he even gonna know we did what he asked? I got a feeling most things around here get back to him pretty fast. Like I said, did you see where we're at once we got Jack? You took your time. Where's your host? Ah! Like I said, you took your time. Ah! I'm glad to see you. Let's get going. What a fine man. Hey, friend. Uh, thank you Mr. Bronte you for right? everything. Yeah, I'm fine. Come on. You know, Arthur, Mr. Bronte has invited us to a garden party at the mayor's house. <laughs> And us, just simple country boys. There. Hey. Let's go! We have a new camp set up, Jack. You're gonna love it. Huh? Let's get this boy back to his mother. You sure you're okay, son? I'm fine. Papa Bronte said you'd come for me. I'm... I'm sorry. What for? For that. For taking so long. I had a fun time. I had my own room with a big bed and a toy box. And lots of books. Did they do anything to you? Have you ever had spaghetti? What? What's that? It's food. It looks like worms, but it's delicious. Is that right? Papa Bronte teach me lots of Italian words. Don't call him that, please. You know, cavallo? That means horse. And pantafola? That's a slipper. A slipper? They gave me two pairs. One for day and one for night. Well, I'm just glad you're all right. Oh, yes. But I can't wait to see Mama. Did she miss me? She sure did. Like you wouldn't know. Real good to see you, Jack. You too, Uncle Arthur. Did you catch the bad guys? Which ones? At the graveyard. Uncle Dutch and Papa Bronte told you. Just Mr. Bronte. Yeah. Me and your pa dealt with them. I told him you would. Wait till you see this new camp. Not another one. Well, this one's got a house. Not as nice as Mr. Bronte's, mind you. That's okay. We'll get you settled and cleaned up in no time. Oh, I had a bath last night. Yeah, of course you did. Son, everything. We got him, Mama. He's fine. I'm fine, Mama. They fed me good <laughs> Italian food. Did you ever eat that? Come here, you silly boy. Uh, <laughs> you got him. You got my son back. Dutch Arthur, thank you. Thank you. I got my son back. <laughs> Jack, Jack, Jack. How are you, boy? I'm fine, thanks. Everything's okay now. Abigail? Can I go play now? Ah, so, well, we met Mr. Bronte. Hmm. He is uh, 
Quite a character. Is he now? You ever meet an Italian strong man before? <laughs> Not outside of a circus. Well, let me tell you all about him. John, you go be with your family. Arthur, thank you. Boys, we got some work to do. Interesting work. But first, let's have a drink. <laughs> we got Jack back! <laughs> well, the boys say thank goodness. Thank you, Arthur. I... <clears throat> I don't know how to say it. Thank you. I understand. Come on. Do as Dutch says. <clears throat> Go be with your family. Damn it, Arthur. Hey, make some room for John. Why do you get like this? Good to have you back, kid. We missed you. Hey, how about a song, huh? Javier, play us away. Un par de ojitos negros y el cielito lindo de contrabando. De la sierra morena, cielito lindo, vienen bajando. Un par de ojitos negros, cielito lindo de contrabando. Es el lunar que tiene cielito lindo junto a la boca. No se lo des a nadie, cielito lindo que a mí me toca. Es el lunar que tiene cielito lindo junto a la boca. No se lo des a nadie, cielito lindo que a mí me toca. Ay, 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 ay. No se alegran, cielito lindo, los corazones. Ay, 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 ay. Canta y no llores, porque cantando se alegran, cielito lindo, los Tahiti, dear boy. Tahiti. If you say so. <laughs> Mangoes, maidens, paradise, an unspoiled paradise. Yeah, I hope so. Faith, Arthur. Have a little faith. Well, don't let me bother you. Okay, Arthur.
down. Stay together. You know, my room. You mean like a normal family? <laughs> Look around you. Ah! <laughs> 